Alright guys, we're back again. We just heard a, a really a secret that Grey Warden that the person that Grey Warden that kills an archdemon dies. So I've agreed to take the final blow. So let's go to our room. Morgan, what is she doing in there? Do not be alarmed. It is only I. Morgan, is everything alright? I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your home. Really? I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. It's going to be me. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. Really? Does not need to be? What do you mean? I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. A way out, tell me more. What I propose is this. Lay with me, here tonight. Excuse me? from our joining, a child will be conceived. What? The child will bear the taint, and when the archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. So the child becomes a darkspawn? Not at all. It will become something different. A child born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. You don't think I'll, I will actually go through with this. Why? Because of Leliana? Yes. Do you truly believe that she would condemn you or any other Grey Warden to death when it could be avoided? Consider the possibility that Riordan may not be there to make the final blow as he plans. What then? Do you run away? Do you let Alistair, the future King of Ferelden, take the blow instead? And what if he does not make it to the Archdemon either? Would you truly choose death rather than lay with me for one night? Would you deny yourself the tomorrows and all its rewards? Alright, I agree. No, wait, I want to know more about this child. As you wish. The child won't be hurt, will it? Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Will the child be evil? What will it become? Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. What do you intend to do with the child? I do not wish to tell you. I insist. I need to know what, it, what you plan. The child will represent freedom. For an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to respect that from which it came. Beyond that, you need know nothing else. Wait until it, until it dies, age 30? This is going to be my child. Will I ever see it? No. You never will. This is all I ask in return for freeing you from the burden the Grey Wardens have placed upon you. I see. Enough about the child, then. Then you have decided? All right. I'll... How do you even know this will work? This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. All right. I agree. I'll do it. A wise decision. Come to me then, and we shall make this last night together something to remember. I don't want that. I just want to live. Hello, Morgan.
together, we did a ritual with Morgan, and hopefully this will save our lives. And Liliana will never know about it. I'll make sure of it. It's time to face the blight. We have gathered all the forces we can. The Dark Spawn Horde sure to reach the capital before us. So we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough. It's time for the blight. Alistair speech. Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. The man beside me is a native of Ferelden, now risen to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. He is proof that glory is within reach of us all. He has survived despite the odds, and without him, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim. Today, we avenge the death of my brother, King Kaelan. But most of all, today, we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden, for the Grey Wardens! What a wonderful speech, Alistair. Now let's see what's going on in dinner. That's not I see a dragon up there. team, like our full team, everybody in the party will now face everyone. That would be Alistair, Stan, Liliana, the Warden, all the all the stuff we all the guys we've collected in our party. Level up. The dark spawn have sensed us. The whole party. Let's go.
charge. Good, another down. Enough. You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I hoped. That will change quickly. Bloody Nug Runners are outnumbered three to one! What are we to do now, Riordan? You have a plan, I assume? The army will not last long, so we need to move quickly to reach the Archdemon. I suggest taking Alistair and no more than two others with you into the city. Anyone you don't bring with you can remain here to prevent more Darkspawn from entering Denerim on our tails. How are we going to fight a flying dragon? We're going to need to reach a high point in the city. I'm thinking the top of Fort Draken might work. The top of... You want to draw the dragon's attention? We have little choice. Though I warn you that as soon as we engage the beast, it will call all its generals to help it. I can sense two generals in Denerim. You may wish to seek them out before going to Fort Draken. I am sure that if we did slay those generals, it would stop the Darkspawn in the city from doing a lot of harm. It may also waste resources trying to find them. The decision is up to you. And what will you be doing? I will be clearing a path to the Archdemon. With any luck, I will find it before you do. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assistance if you call them but their strength will be limited. Now, who do you wish to take with you into the city? All right, let's take... Alice. Yes. Morgan. Indeed. Leviathan. Indeed. Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more Darkspawn from coming in the gates behind us. Who will lead them? One of my other companions will lead. Do you have a preference? When? I shall do my best. Good. That should be sufficient. Nothing you have done has prepared you for what you face now. May the Maker watch over you. Last talk, Sora companion. So this is it, then. All that we've been through has led up to this. Whatever happens now, to either of us, know that I am proud, infinitely proud, to have called you friend. Farewell, and may the Maker watch over you. Well, this is it, Warden. When from the blood of battle the stone is fed, let the heroes prevail and the blighters lie dead. <laughs> As one of the blighters, I sodding salute you. Let's show them our hearts, and then show them theirs. My dog. Don't worry, boy. I'll be back. <coughs> Are you ready? We have reached the battlefield at last. Thank you for your help, Stan. I have done nothing. You have carried us this far. Do not doubt that. Heading off to slay dragons without me, hmm? Sorry, Zebra. Fine, fine. Say hello to the Archdemon for me. He never writes anymore. It's rather distressing. And do watch your back. 
No getting eaten, unless you think it's really important, of course. So we head into the city together. Morgan. As it should be. Once this is done, no matter how it turns out, I will be gone. You are aware of this, yes? And let me thank you for what you've done. You are most welcome. It is, I think, the very least I could offer you. <sighs> Allow me to say only one thing before we go. I knew nothing of friendship before we met. And I will always consider you such. Live well, my friend. Live gloriously. Now, let us see this finally done. The Archdemon awaits. Before we head after the Archdemon, I want to say something. I know Morrigan's... Oh, you know about that? What she did is supposed to save us, but who knows if she can be trusted? Or if we'll even survive long enough to take that final blow. So I just want you to know that it's been an honor fighting by your side. To the honor of the Grey Wardens. To the honor of the Grey Wardens. So this is it? Eliana. This is the end? We've come so far. It's strange knowing that all our fates will be decided in a matter of hours. We stand on the precipice before the greatest battle of our age. I wonder if the heroes of old ever felt like this. Probably. I am not afraid. We go to fight for a good cause, and there is nowhere else I would rather be. You are my dearest friend and my love. Thank you lit you. my path through darkness, and I will stand with you to whatever end. This day, we will forge a legend of our own. Don't need persuasion anymore. Combat. And now. What should I choose? Earthquake? Let's do this one. Earthquake is a pain in the ass. According to my cousin. Alright. Done it. We it's time for us to end the blights, and we will end it in the next episode.